Welcome, our champions. Are you tired of having a LinkedIn feed that is overcrowded? Well, no problem. If you are like me and you're following over thousands of different pages and you want to unfollow some of these just to unclutter your LinkedIn feed, well, this is the right video. To do this, we are going to be using Microsoft Power Automate Desktop. Microsoft Power Automate Desktop is a free tool completely available for free from Microsoft. What you're looking at in the screen is going to be the automation that we are going to be creating. It's going to be a simple automation with just 10 steps of automation are going to allow us to save potentially countless hours of unfollowing different pages that we have followed through the years. Now you can improve this process however you want. However, I'm going to show you how to create it in the fastest and easiest way possible. Let's jump right into it and let's see how to build this automation. We are going to be starting from a blank new Canva. We are going to call this follow automation. In our blank canvas, the first thing that we have to do is add a browser integration. We can choose whichever browser we want. We can choose Chrome, Firefox, or Internet Explorer. I will be using Google Chrome in this example. And in here, we're going to add the URL that we are going to be navigating or unfollowing to. After that, I'm going to click on save, and this is going to be the first part of my automation. Now for the second part, I can click on the record button and I'm going to go into the, in this web page that I have previously loaded and I'm going to spy all of the different elements that my automation has to do. Now with this record, we are going to click on the record and select the different buttons that we want to click. So in this example, we are going to click on the follow button. Once the follow button is clicked, there is going to be a message that is going to pop up. And after that, we are going to click on the unfollow button right here. And that is pretty much everything that our automation is going to do. Now let's go back into Microsoft Power Automate Desktop and test out our automation. And let's start by removing the steps that we have been generated for us that we don't need. We don't need this and these extra details that have been created. Now let's take a look at the different connectors that were created. If we click right here at the bottom in the UI elements, we can see that two connectors were created for us. One for the unfollow button and one for the unfollow inside of the pop-up. Now let's take a look at the selector that was created for us. Now we can see that this selector is using an ID Ember 24. I can already tell you that this is going to be wrong and why? Because this is a dynamic selector. What we have to do is create a better selector. Now let's try to modify this. Let's remove Ember and let's add a class and let's also add a different class as well, a top class as well to this. Let's try it like this. So this is going to be a little bit of fine tuning depending on the application that you're using, but for LinkedIn, it's more or less always going to be the same until they change the code inside of the application or the functionality of the application. All right, now we are using the CSS selectors. Let's see if we are able to identify properly. It was able to identify our button and it has unfollowed this first link. Now let's put this inside an infinite loop so that we can repeat this step as many times as we want. So we're just going to use a very simple loop and we're going to start from zero and end at 10 and increment by one. We are going to move our loop to include the two different buttons. And now let's test out our application again and see if it's going to repeat the same step 10 times. Now, if this works, then we are going to increase our loop to maybe 20 or 30 and then refresh our page every time this completes. And that is going to be pretty much everything inside of our automation. Now this, as we can see, is currently working. So it, we have already unfollowed two or three followers and the automation is working. However, once we reach 10, it is going to stop working. Now this page is going to load more results the more you scroll down. There's many different ways that you can do this. A very simple way of how you could do it to make it go, to make it continue on and on because you cannot inc include here 100 because 100 is probably not going to be there. So you have to discover what is the maximum number. 
But once the maximum number is reached, you would like to refresh this page. So what you can do is add another loop and you can make it start at zero and at, at 10 or at 100. And all you have to do in this loop right here is we will navigate to this link right here. So we are going to search for an action that says navigate or go to, go to web page. We're going to insert this right here and add the link. So this is just going to refresh our page. So what is going to happen in this, in this process with just eight steps, we're going to go to a LinkedIn, LinkedIn web page. We're going to navigate to that page again. We're going to perform the unfollow 10 times. Once we've done with the unfollow, we're going to refresh the page. Why are we refreshing the page? Cause once we refresh the page, this is going to happen. So all of the pages that we have unfollowed are going to disappear and we're going to have a new fresh list of pages to unfollow. Now, how cool is this? Microsoft Power Automate is a great tool that helps you automate manual repetitive tasks. Now, in future videos, I'm going to be combining this with ChatGPT. So stay tuned because the videos are going to be mind blowing. When you combine Microsoft Power Automate desktop with that automates the repetitive, boring, and manual tasks, when you combine it with AI, you can automate cognitive tasks. You can truly do end to end automation, which also poses the question, what are we going to be doing? Please, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. It has been a pleasure. Thank you so much again for being with me and for all of the community. Thank you. And I will see you in the next video.